So, you're sick and tired of hearing the reverse beep on your 2015 or Generation 3 Prius, Prius, like me. Now, please excuse me if I sound funny or my mouth is moving weird because I just had a molar cavity replaced back here. So, all of this is numb right now. My mouth feels really weird. And my tongue is numb too. So anyway... The first thing you need to do is get on Amazon.com and buy this. It's an ODB2 interface, ELM327 type. I hope it's not blurry. It's $9.99 and it's free return, so if you don't want it when you're done, just send it back, get your money back. Easy enough. And, uh,. Then you need to do is go on to your iPhone or Android phone and download this app, Dr. Hybrid. I mean, Dr. Prius slash Dr. Hybrid, available on both models, but I'm doing it on the Android today because that's the spare phone I have to be able to show you with while I record. <laughs> um, so... It's a free app and there's a lot you can do with it and there's other apps out there like Carista um, some of the how-to videos that I've seen and forums that talk about Carista app being the best but it costs money it's like $14.99 or $9.99 and I was trying to do this as cheaply as possible so I wanted a free app this is free and the feature that you need is free so um, that's the way I'm and that's why I'm doing this video because I couldn't find a video that showed me how to do it with a free app and um, and a nice cheap ODB2 adapter because I also went to AutoZone to try to borrow their ODB2 thingy but it's not Bluetooth so you can't hook it to a device um, you can't communicate with an app so that was pretty much useless so don't go that route don't waste time with that like I did so the next thing you got to do, then you got you got these two things, and you got to plug the little device into your car. Have the car off, and I'll show you where it's under under the steering wheel, way under, way way under. You see uh, that white interface there. Very easy to find. It's next to the set button, whatever that is. So you get, oh, sorry, you get the little device and you install it there. Again, while the car is off, and then it will have uh, a red light. And then you turn on your car. I don't need to show you how to turn on your car. Everybody has a Prius, knows how to turn on their own Prius. But it's funny to watch friends try to turn it on, isn't it? <laughs> um, beep, beep. I don't think there's any way to get rid of those beeps. And then what you do is you click on the app. You have this screen when you open the app. And at the top there you see ODB2, Roman numerals two. So you tap that and it will say please while we wait while we connecting to ODB2 device. It's proper English there. And then there's battery monitor, which is probably a lot of cool things you can do with that, but I don't care right now. Um, now if there's any trouble connecting, I've had uh, once an issue where the, the, the app tried to connect the device and got an error. What I did was I just turned the car off and turned it back on, tried again, and it connected fine. So there's that. And then you see at the top there, the green shows you that the uh, ODB2 is connected. So then you go to the menu at the top left, the three bars, click on that, and you'll see this list. Um, and you have there special features. Let's see? So you click on special features and then right there at the very top easy to find is disable reverse beep 
click on that and um, while you're at it if you want you can also click on disable seatbelt beep which I did because I don't need a reminder to put my seatbelt on I always put my seatbelt on uh. numb mouth and uh, I don't need people that I'm riding with to, uh, to be reminded because if they don't want to put their seatbelt on it's their choice if they want to die unless it's a child I'll tell a child to put their seatbelt on and I'll remind friends too but anyway I'm, I hate that seatbelt beep too so you got a bonus and then all you do um, I don't even know if you have to turn the car off or anything I think you could just do without but I'm gonna turn the car off just in case. I'm gonna pull the little device out. And then turn the car back on. And I am now in my garage. I am now in reverse. And I am backing up. Watch as the sun washes over me and no reverse beep. Yay! <laughs> right? And also, as you can see, I don't have my seatbelt on. So I'm going to do something really bold and adventurous here. Continue backing out of my garage. I'm now at now at two miles per hour. Now three. Actually, I'll go forward a little bit. I'll go to carefully. I'll go to ten miles per hour. And oh, 14, 15. Oh, still no seatbelt beep. So there you go. Just a little jaunt around the neighborhood. My seatbelt on now, and uh, that's it. There you go. Thanks for watching. Bye now.